So, but first, Trey Yings begins our coverage in southern Israel. And where are we at this hour? Trey, hello. Bill, Dana, good morning. Right now, we are at an Israeli artillery position. They are firing on the Gaza Strip as we speak. It comes after just moments ago, there were sirens sounding in Israel's first and second largest cities, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. There was a session of the Knesset in session at that moment. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, along with cabinet officials, having to head to bomb shelters. At this moment, the Israelis are responding with artillery across the Gaza Strip. Take a look. You can see behind me, Israeli artillery units continue to fire on the northern part of the Gaza Strip. The Israelis targeting Gaza from the air and the ground, trying to put as much pressure on Hamas as possible. Remarkable that the groups inside Gaza still have the ability to target these major cities 10 days into the war. This comes as Israel is learning more about the weapons that Hamas brought into southern Israel last weekend when they committed that massacre. Take a look. You can see here rocket-propelled grenades recovered by the Israeli military in the southern part of their country. They say they found about a thousand of these brought in by Hamas fighters to use against Israeli communities along the border. This arsenal here just accounts for about 20 percent of what was recovered. Hamas planned to battle for days, and the Israelis say most of this is homemade. They don't see any evidence of outside help, but are prepared for what they will face inside Gaza. Homemade explosive is very common in the Gaza Strip. They have factories of this. They walk around the clock in order to make new IEDs, new charges against our troops. Katayab al-Hamas, the troops of Hamas, RPG-7 VR. This is the tubes of those RPGs. This is the tube of the thermobaric missile rocket in here. Wow. So you can see all of these made inside Gaza by groups there. And this is some of what the Israeli forces will face when they enter the Strip. I believe that they have about five times more at the Gaza Strip, but it's good to know that we know all this and we have nothing to surprise us. As we speak right now, we're getting an alert in about the northern part of Israel, the border with Lebanon. The Israelis are calling on all residents near the border to shelter in place, lock all doors and windows. Likely, they're worried about an infiltration attempt from Lebanon. We're also learning just a few moments ago that the Israelis are shelling southern Lebanon. So it gives you a sense of just how active all of this is. I want you to listen to IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari. He talked about the situation in the north. Hezbollah carried out a number of shooting attacks in order to distract from our war effort in the south, under Iranian instruction and with Iranian support. This comes as thousands of Gazans are trying to flee to the southern part of Gaza after the Israelis warned them about a ground operation that isn't expected in the coming hours or days. We did speak with an Israeli military spokesman today who indicated those reports this morning about a ceasefire with southern Gaza are inaccurate. Bill, Dana. Trey Yanks with the latest there. Thank you, Trey.